It, it's a difference. We know, we know, we know the man extensions, and we know the women extensions. If you bring your ass out of that motherfucking stove with some women extensions, no, I'm not, I, I can't respect that. But if you gonna get your head, your head manly like, I will respect that. I know we all you you coming out that motherfucker looking like a bitch. That's the that's the, what I'm talking about. That right there. Hello, up on the take your L. Ashley, say you still mad because she made you cry the other day. Bitch, she didn't never make me cry. You a motherfucking lie. You very white sounding bitch. That bitch ain't never made me cry. Don't you mean that bitch made her cry the other day? And let's not forget the bitch can never make me cry. The same way, I, like y'all said, she read me and that bitch didn't read me when they came out with those motherfucking receipts, bitch. I was tearing that whole panel up by myself. Raggedy ass bitch. Talk about Ashley said you mad because she made you cry. No, Ashley cried the other day. And also admitted that Frenchie didn't want her. Let's not forget that. Bitch, don't be lying, lying asshole. Yes. Hi, Pop, can we love you? Is I this, love you. Is this, can we give L's now? Yes, go ahead. Okay, now I know everybody know that it's a whole bunch of stuff jumping off, right? Yeah. So, okay, now we just heard this. Now, y'all know when Ashley trying to de deflect and all of that is true, right? So, over on the other app, they kept saying that uh, our lead Give my L to Scout over there looking like a sad puppy because Jackie said she about to make sure motherfuckers get arrested now. Jackie had her daughter in the car asking her questions about Scout texting her and shit. Jackie, yeah, he over there looking like a sad puppy dog because Jackie said motherfuckers about to go to jail. So what, 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 wait, sister, do you believe that? I don't believe, honestly, I don't think that Scout was, like, trying to do anything inappropriate with the daughter, but she got those text messages of him, like, texting her and shit. Um, yeah, so. So it's it, real it, that Scout was texting that little girl? You never seen the text messages? No, ma'am. Yeah, he showed the text messages. But it was like, it wasn't, I didn't see anything inappropriate in the text messages. What I saw was like him telling her to call the cops on Jackie because the I guess the girl was saying she was scared. Oh, those texts were fake. Teresa admitted it today. So, okay. I, that was the text that I saw that it was like about um, the daughter, him telling the daughter to call 911. So, all Jackie. that's fake? I don't know. I just, this person in the comments just said that it was fake and what's the name admitted it today. The text, those texts were, I don't know. But those are the texts that I had seen. But Jackie was in the car and she was having her daughter to like, Did, were you scared of me? Did you do anything? Did, so um, that, that means she coached her daughter to say that Scout was trying to talk to her. But the I didn't the daughter didn't say anything about Scout like trying to talk to her inappropriate or nothing. Like she was just asking her, like, were you scared of me? Um, who sent you money? Have you talked to them? Uh did you communicate with him and all of that? But Jackie was the one that made that girl communicate with him. Exactly. Like, what is she doing? Like right. she needs to go to jail too. Cause like, like we even she got said videos. That she was saying her how she was talking. She was saying like, I guess somebody done like called CPS again or some shit. And Scout played her voicemails today. 
of him of her like leaving all these voicemails on his phone she was crying and shit and telling him she was sorry she got him into stuff like that's so jackie or the daughter jackie that shit going that shit going too far because yeah, even if he didn't it. do it that shit is gonna cost him one he probably might have to get an attorney it's gonna might cost him two. like that shit is it's, he gonna have to go through a whole situation I, I just to cut, like clear scout. it up. I don't like Scout, but I will go to court on his behalf. When that lady, when I was trying to tell her, like, cause I was like, Jackie, why do you got that little girl calling Scout phone? Jackie said, bitch, mind your motherfucking business. Scout is her motherfucking stepfather. And he gonna take care of her while I'm in motherfucking going through what I'm going through. And she also told the DCFS people to give Scout number in case anything happened to her. Scout was, she gonna go live with Scout. That's crazy. Yeah, that shit, that shit going too far. Cause you know, uh, you know, Jackie ain't ain't all there, so you know, and then that's an impressionable. That's her child. Like she might could get her to say, I don't want to say all that. Oh no, she is. She coaching that girl to do that to that man. Right, because she didn't in that live. She didn't say the daughter didn't say he did anything inappropriate. She just really had her like debunking stuff that people were saying about her, like, um, why are you scared of me? And you know, have you been contacting Scalp and has Scalp been? That shit is that shit going too far. It like, is. This shit going too far. Hey, Flags, how you doing, boo? Hey, uh, pump in. Yes. I, my mind just goes back to when she uh, sent that child at you on Bego. And I hate to see you curse that baby out, but her mom actually sent that child at you as a grown woman. Yes. And everybody know Jackie's mind state. So why now are they dragging that child, that young man like that for no reason? That don't make sense. But she trying to get, she trying to, it sounds like to me she trying to coach her daughter into saying that Scout was trying to make her do something over the phone. That's what this, like. this is what happened. She used her daughter to get, to try to get closer to Scout. She used that child. Yeah. Because she know that he's a good hearted person. She knew that. That's an older woman. She's manipulative. Hey, Pocky. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go ahead. I'm sorry, because she's kind of loud. I'm sorry, sister. Okay. No, I'm going to let her go on. I just wanted to uh, say that, you know, just thinking about when she sent that child at you, and that child can't speak up for Scalp right now, but my belief is good always win in the end. I just wish to God, I know it's hard for him to let it go because it hurt him so bad doing good. And I just wish he could let it go because in the end, good's going to always win out. Yeah, I know it's storming on him right now, but if he just let it go and hold on. See how Pastor addressed that shit? Pastor cursed her ass out and left it alone, and it faded away. Yeah. Yeah, but thanks. But I think, I think she really wanted to really make love to Scout. And I think of course she did. Yeah. She had a whole relationship in her own mind, Pumpkin. In her mind. There's several people in that mind. Yeah. Hey, sister. Hey, Pumpkin. I just wanted to say about Jackie that we all watch this with Jackie. Everybody watched. Everybody watched this Jackie and Scalp stuff. Scalp ain't did nothing to that girl. Scalp ain't did nothing to that baby. Nothing. We watched it all right here on Bego. We watched it. He, I don't believe none of that. He ain't did nothing to that baby but tried to help Jackie. That's all he was trying to do. Jackie wanted that dick. Couldn't get it. Got mad. And that is what it is. Thanks, sister. All right. All right. Hey, sister, welcome to the Elf Show. Hey, hey, Pumpkin. So, hey, boo. I just realized, I think that's a pattern with men and Jackie, because, like, you she blamed, I felt like, all right, so let's start with, I mean, President. The President wasn't locked up, you think she would be doing the same thing? The I think she'd be, like, bribing these men with her child. I had yeah. something else to say. That shit slipped my mind. Yeah, so if she didn't have a child, she thought, what, what else was she blaming on? If she didn't have a child, what else would she blame? She keep blaming these men for sexual assault or whatever the case might be. So if she didn't have that child, who would she say? They, they fucked my dog. My dog yeah. came crying to me as ass. I don't know, but I think it is something really wrong with that lady. Um, And I hope, oh yeah, that's the question. Do you think J Jackie treat her daughter the way she do like a grown up because of what she did to her when she was younger I think she trying to not pay her back for it but she trying to do better 
buy that because of that? Do better buy I, her because of that? I think Jackie letting that little girl grow up because of what she did to her. Try to take her out into traffic and anything to make my mom forget about it. Yeah. Oh, top caller. Okay. Top caller. Right. Top caller. You brought up a very yes. valid point. Uh, young lady on top of me there, you brought up a good point because when she was dealing with President, I can remember mm -hmm. one live. Uh, she told Mama, get President Admin in your room. And she's like, I'm not giving him Admin in my room. They had that fuss Wait, right why there on her home anyway. Sure did. Yeah, you brought a good one up then. And that's crazy. Yeah. She always wants that little girl to be around the men. She and do. It's crazy. She might grow up and, and really be around men. And she's like, she probably thinking it's cool because of her mom. Yes. I'm going to be in the comments, though. All right, baby. Thank you. Very good point. All right, y'all. Here go the, the voicemails that Jackie left at Scout, y'all. And I know it's a number cut to your voice, and I memorized it. I memorized your number. And you ain't ever stopped me trying to fuck my time. Now, see, you know, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. That's crazy. That's crazy. But, you know, at the end of the day, my receipts don't mean nothing. My receipts don't mean nothing to nobody. Yes, they do, Scout. That's crazy, man. For y'all to try to do me like this. Now, for her to that's try to do crazy. me like this. That's what's hers, though. Yeah. That's a promise. I'm going to make sure that she going to get what's hers. That's crazy. Yeah, he need a lawyer. Woman is obsessed. Hey, sister. Say this. When you told Scout, I think you told him the not mess with her because you know what she was going through. You gave these people warnings about her. You know, but everybody went against you. Remember? You kept saying, Don't go over that plan with that lady because you know she's going inside the crazy house. And you talking about you want to be friends. Oh no, no, me and her friends and this and that. Remember that? He said I was jealous. Uh-huh. So now things about to get messy now you want somebody to feel sorry no because she was over there dragging pocket because you said she was jealous a lot of y'all was dragging her because of that my whole thing is to y'all even though he did i don't know if i was him i wouldn't have got involved with nobody's child knowing i'm a man that's a little girl knowing she's a, crazy you understand me yeah so with that being said sis hey they should have listened to you that's all all yeah. that dragging you doing all that dumb stuff that's what it got him. I sure did tell him. I said, Scout, you're going to be the next victim. Lying on me. I sure did tell him. Yes, welcome to take your L. Who you going to give the L to? Okay. Yes. I thought whenever um, Scout used to talk to Jackie's daughter that it, the aunt was right there. It wasn't never alone. That's what Jackie lied and said. But I don't think, I, don't, I mean, I'm not going to say thanks, but I know Scalp didn't do nothing like that. Scalp is a very kind-hearted young man, and he sees someone who was in need and help, and he was a friend to her. Because I can remember the live that he was on with Jackie when he was playing music one night, and he told Jackie. Jackie was sitting in her room on her bed. He told her, we, I don't like you like that, not as a relationship. 
we're not like that. I don't see you as a girlfriend. And he told her, he broke it, he break it down to her, and she felt some type of way that, she felt some type of way that night. So I don't know why people trying to paint this narrative and brand it, and they trying to make it seem like Scalp is that type of person. He's not that type of person. He's not. For me, watching him, he is a very kind-hearted person, and he was only helping and reaching out because he was supposed to be a friend to her, and that's what friends are supposed to do. Yeah. He well, he's not lying. He's not lying. If I could see him, I would give him a hug because of what he did. Because he has a big heart to help people. All right, Paul. All right. I think I think Scout went in there on his own at ten. Scout, Scout, Scout should have left Jackie the fuck alone. After Scout found out the uh, president got eight thousand dollars, he felt like he was gonna run a bag on him. Guess what? Gonna take your L. Police and anybody else, and you know what? They'll be doing some more than sitting on Vico and sniping somebody else's story. Damn, fucking pump that out. Tell that bitch to pump her motherfucking eye up. Jackie, shut your fat, nasty, big back ass the fuck up. Talk about somebody pump their eye up. Bitch, you pump your motherfucking eye up. You motherfucking Oprah Winfrey looking bitch. Ugly asshole. And like the fuck I said. You fat ass bitch, you lying ass hoe. Scalp ain't did nothing to your daughter. You just want some dick. That's all. And Scalp did so much shit wrong to your daughter. You fat, disillusional ass bitch. Why you just drive all the way to New Orleans? Why? You lying ass cow, ugly ass bitch. You mad cause you didn't get no dick. Talking about pump somebody out up. Bitch, your ass be over there like this, bitch. With them fat ass light eyelashes on, you ugly hoe. Punkin, Punkin, you know what? I really think Scalp was really trying. Scalp wasn't as general as he planned to be. I think Scalp was in it to try to win. Um, you know how you be a, a caretaker over somebody, you know, because he said he went live and said, I was the one that told Jackie to call the mental hospital and have herself admitted. And then he had, he was trying to get her so he could be over her daughter and whatever Jackie have. He was going to be able to control it, but he couldn't control it because some kind of way, God or somebody intervened and said it ain't so. I think Scab wasn't really into it because he was trying to help Jackie. I think he wanted something out of it. But you know what? It is what it is. He probably did feel sorry for her daughter, but he was in it for his own reasons. And then Jackie, you fat ass slow bitch. Oh, all of a sudden, now you going through my, my phone now all of a sudden. But was you going through that bitch phone when you went to Atlanta? Did you go through the bitch phone when you drove down to motherfucking Louisiana? All of a sudden, now you want to be a mother and be in your daughter phone, you raggedy bitch. Oh, no, you was not. You just mad because they don't want your ass around, you fat ass bitch. Talk about pump the eye up, bitch. Pump your brain up. Bitch, we know what's right. You mad because they don't want you around. Now, all of a sudden, you want to go through my, my phone. Why you wasn't going through the bitch phone while you was on your way to motherfucking ATL? Why you didn't go through the bitch phone while you was on your way to Louisiana? Tell about me and mama about to go play peekaboo. Let's talk about it, bitch. Girl, let me calm down. Let's talk about it. Now, all of a sudden, when Scout say he don't want to be bothered, now you want to do a mother thing and look through your daughter's phone. But why you didn't look through her motherfucking phone when you was on your way down to Louisiana? You fucking disturbed ass, wicked, evil ass, ugly ass bitch. And, and, and why you didn't go through her phone when you threw my phone out the window? Huh? When you was throwing mama ashes across goddamn the F-59, walking through the goddamn forest, butt-ass neck. Huh? Fucking fake-ass bitch. You over there trying to request that girl, record, trying to make that girl say that Scout did something to her. But if you did, which I don't think so, you are held responsible, bitch. Because you was the one that brought that fast-ass little girl over here on the internet. And every time you get into it with one of these men, they always got to do something to mama. You raggedy-ass bitch. 
Hello, welcome to the L Show. Hi, Pumpkin. Hey, babe. I want to give an L to Jackie and Scout. Jackie know better. That was careless of her to have uh, that girl having contact with Scap or anybody on this app. And she's sitting over know. there, there like it ain't shit, like she ain't done nothing talking Thank about, you. oh, that's negativity. It's not negativity because all the people that was on that app that was telling uh, Scap to uh, tell her to do this and sending her sending Scap money, them motherfuckers is wrong too. They need an L too. Because somebody should have called CBS in 911. That shit shouldn't have went that far. Scalp too old for that shit. As a man, he shouldn't have never wanted to be in contact with a little girl. Especially when nobody else is, uh, you know, uh, around. He shouldn't have never had that much asset access to her daughter. I'm, I'm divorced and I'm dating. My daughters are grown. One is 31 and one is 28. And they have never met the guy that I'm dating. And they won't. Thanks. I don't play that shit. And they grown. Thank you, Pumpkin. Thank you, babe. And it wasn't funny when Scout slapped your ass across that goddamn... And made that goddamn wig fall on the floor, bitch. And you had to get up. <laughs> he slapped you. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> he popped that motherfucker head, bitch. He's like, get your ass off. She <laughs> popped that bitch silly. silly. <laughs> she was trying to, she was trying to grope him. He said, get your ass off. But I just wanted to come up here and say, I just wanted to come up here and say, I don't think that Scout was wrong. I think that Scout did the manly thing to do. As in, this lady doesn't have anyone. So he was talking to the young girl. And people have said that they've been on the phone like China 504 when a little girl called or um, or Keith or something like that. I heard something of that nature. But it's a shame that I feel like it's a shame that people will think negatively about a man stepping in and, and being a man. And he has a child too so i don't think that scout will sit up there and be like you know what it's a white man in a in in a van go run up in there like i i don't get what they talking about this don't even sound right that man helped that woman we all heard jackie on her live stating that scout was her best friend he but she she he's the only one that she trusts with her children why y'all coming up here with y'all negative behavior, acting so fucking negative? Y'all must don't have a man or something. Or y'all must raise y'all kids by yourself. Because, or somebody did something to you. Because I don't understand. If you watch everybody in their videos, you would get an understanding. That shit is well, just... Can I ask a question? Yeah, Do we uh, know how long... Um, Jackie and Scalp known each other and actually been friends with each other. How long has that been? I, d I don't know how long, but I do know that on Periscope, Jackie threw her daughter in the middle of the street and she was running booty ball ass naked. I know that. Because I personally, I don't think that he should have been in contact with that daughter unless he, Jackie was on the phone. She would have saying a quick hi to Scalp. There's no way you should be texting nobody's daughter at any hours of the morning or night because who but are you? But he wasn't texting her. She was texting him. Okay, so ignore it. You're you're the adult. Ignore Why would it. he ignore it when we already <laughs> know that Jackie sat up there and threw her daughter in the middle of the street no, at the age of ten? Or you call, or if, or if you know the family, call the family, let them know that she's contacting you and she's nervous and she's scared and that's what you do as an adult. You do not engage in conversation with little kids. You sit up there and you, you talk to the young girl too. And that's what he was doing. Didn't you hear him say, call your auntie because the auntie went and picked her up from Florida, wherever they were at? You didn't hear that? Because she wanted Scout to come get her. Yeah. He, he sat up there and got in contact with the auntie so the auntie could come and get her because he left the little girl at the hospital. And in my opinion, I just no, feel no, like no, the no. way that Jackie... Wait, wait, no, sorry. Against it, Huh? All right. a, a, a different thing as well, yeah. though. 
But I also feel like Jackie is low key training her daughter to have this mentality that if I don't get my way with the man, I'm gonna accuse him of doing something to me. And that's a right. big issue because what's gonna happen when she's 25, she with a man that don't want her no more and then she's gonna do, call the cops and be like, hey, yeah, he raped me, he this, that, and oh, sorry, he R-worded me. Like, it's just not okay what she's doing. And she's right. playing season that little girl's head to act out later on in life. It's well, very you know, scary. Uh, what's her name, Tammy P? He, she has said you need to teach your daughter to stop, you know, asking men for money or something like exactly. that. Exactly. Yes, yeah, she always asking like that. Remember that? She basically yeah. pimping her daughter out. That's she asked, she wanted to ask Keith for some money. See, yeah, I think not. like what, what Punkin has said earlier, what Punkin has said just a few minutes ago. I think Jackie is upset because they don't want Jackie around. And this is what yeah. she's doing. I think what Punkin is saying is true and it has facts to it. And I think I don't this know where her family is, but the family needs to come get my mom. And she's making it seem as if Scout was trying to harm her child mm-hmm. in any type of way. You know what I'm saying? Because that lady has a mental issue. Everybody said it. Now everybody wanna sit up here and, and majority of the people wanna be, oh Jackie, da 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 da. But y'all was just up here saying that this lady threw her daughter in the middle of the street and she was in a mental institute. She shouldn't be with her. She shouldn't be with her mother. She shouldn't be with her mother at all. I don't know why the court decided to go back to her mother, but that was the dumbest decision. And that's the show that the American a, system fails these kids. They fail but these as kids. a friend and a human being, as being a human being, you're getting to know someone, and y'all y'all talking on the phone, and y'all telling each other y'all deepest darkest secrets. So y'all getting to know each other. So as being a friend, you think that that man was wrong because the daughter called uh, called him and said, Scalp, I'm scared, I'm scared, I don't know what to do. Mama threw grandma ashes out the window and she bugging right now? Mm-hmm. What he was supposed to do, not be a human being with a heart? I don't understand what you're saying. He hung but... up on her and said, oh, well, you know, you 14, you can handle your shit. You know how your mother is. And let that girl get fucked up again? I understand what you're saying, but it's a very thin line, and we know how the justice system treats our black men. So he needs to also be careful and protect himself in situations like this because now this is happening. I'm so glad you who said knows that. what's going to happen? I'm glad so, you said that. The system treat our black men. So what are we doing to that black man right now? Exactly. Excuse me, right? Saying that he was wrong to be a human being with a heart and trying to help a little girl out because he has children. But I think both both sides are wrong in a sense. I don't think he should be contacting her at certain hours of the day. And then at the same time, I think Jackie is also wrong. They're both yeah. wrong in certain aspects. There's no way that you can have a certain hour on crazy. There's no way that you could say, oh, I'm she's going to be crazy at this time. So, you know, at this time, I'm just cut my phone off and let her do right, do whatever. Right. You know what I'm saying? There's no way that you can. In just my opinion, if he knew that she had mental issues from the jump, from the get go, why were you befriending her? That's my listen, biggest thing. Listen. Why even listen, that at up? the end of the day, you're listen, right? Let let's let's think about it, right? So you're getting to know Jackie. And these people on this app is saying some crazy stuff, but you don't want to believe it because you want to see it for yourself. You know what I'm saying? That's just a human being. If somebody's saying something about me, right? And they say, oh, well, dope girl threw her kids in the middle of the street, wooty woo, wooty woo. But you like my personality and you like the vibe that I'm getting. So you're not going to automatically, you know, say, oh, okay, well, dope girl, she crazy. No, you like the vibe that I'm getting. So you trying to get to know me. Until the shit really happened, you like, whoa, what the hell? You really is crazy. No shade, but if enough if enough people tell me somebody isn't the right person for me or is crazy, mm-hmm. I'm going to take their damn advice. I ain't going to go find out for myself, okay? But, not, but you got to think about who's the people that's telling you this too. You know what I'm saying? It be people out here saying stuff that be lying all the time. You be like, oh, she lying. Just like I could put, you know, uh, Dragon Ball Z mouth. Ashley, they said her doodle breath sat up there and, and had some young lady do fleatio on her child. 
Ain't that horrible too? They like on the same media. Who you gonna Man, believe? I'm quite sure you go with Ashley, Rue. You fuck with Ashley, right? No, I don't. Yeah. I don't. I like just watching. I don't get too attached to these broadcasters. I love Funky though, no shade, but. I don't get too attached because when you get too attached, you get too involved. And I cannot take this app outside into my personal life. So Girl, I keep it where it's at, the app. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, I keep it where it's at, the app. <laughs> yeah, I just was trying to give you an example because a lot of people like watching Ashley. A lot of people like, you know, do the ball breath. They like watching her. So mm-hmm. at the end of the day, she's a big ass host. So they said that she she has some young lady in the room, I'm Okay, 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 y'all. Let's not talk about yeah, that. Yeah, Pumpkin looks yeah, bored, so right. we're going to get down. Right. Change yeah. the subject. All right, Pumpkin. <laughs> Love y'all. Thank you for letting me up, Pumpkin. No problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all about to go. Yeah.